My name is Vicki Lin, and welcome to the Higher Perspective Podcast, a show about seeing the truth to heal. Every week, I explore the non-physical realms that make up most of reality to bring awareness to the importance of spiritual health, inner healing, and energetics so that you can awaken to the truth of who you are. I'm very excited to have you join me here for the first episode of the Higher Perspective Podcast. This is something I've been wanting to create for quite some time now because I feel like the well-being of humanity has taken a nosedive in recent years and it seems like it's just getting worse. I know that there are more and more people every single day who feel like they're spiraling down into this deep dark place in life because everything seems to be getting increasingly intense. We are going through a major metamorphosis on so many levels. The outcome of that is dependent on the choices we make every day, so nothing is set in stone right now. Also, no one really knows when this process will be completed. What is important is for us to acknowledge the growing pains we are currently experiencing and focus on dealing with them in a healthy way. I see a tremendous need for healing, guidance, love, positivity, and innovative solutions. Solutions that actually address the root cause of problems, not just suppress the symptoms or have you cope with them or distract you from them, but to actually heal and eliminate them so that you can be free. It is my intention to introduce new ideas where I merge information from very different subjects and share the wisdom that I have through this podcast that will hopefully become solutions for you. A little bit about me who I am and where I come from. My academic background is in biology and I worked in the healthcare field for more than a decade, interacting directly with patients and their family members at the end of life. As you can imagine, it was a really emotionally demanding job. And because I'm a highly sensitive and empathic person, it was challenging. But it did teach me a lot and it helped me develop in ways that I needed to, to be able to do what I'm doing now. Last year, I had to transition out of that job and start to fully step into what I really came here to do. I'm an intuitive sound artist and a shamanic healer. Basically, I use my voice to generate conscious sound frequencies mostly through vocal toning and light language. This allows me to travel into different dimensions, communicate with the subconscious mind and the soul, as well as transmute energy for emotional and spiritual healing. Some of you may be familiar with the healing music I share on my YouTube channel, and if not, you can go there and check it out. But how this all came together is a pretty crazy story, which I'll share in a future episode. It is related to the fact that I am an interdimensional contactee. So I've had numerous mystical experiences and visitations from different types of light beings. As a result of those encounters and receiving their frequencies, I was led down this path of self-discovery and healing that awakened everything that I know and everything I can do from within me. In some sense, I am self-taught through doing a lot of research, through trial and error, creative play, and of course, there was divine intervention that provided subtle guidance that helped me to arrive to where I am now. This podcast is going to be a place where I bring what I've learned from my spiritual experiences and apply that to our physical, mental, and emotional health. I find that society 
doesn't seem to really consider the spiritual and non-physical aspects of who we are and doesn't understand the enormous role that has on our well-being. Actually, I don't even think the concept of spiritual health and spiritual hygiene is something that people are really aware of, but it contributes so much to our overall wellness. It directly impacts our body, our mind, our emotions, our relationships, and our life. So I hope my unique spiritual experiences and my ability to navigate the non-physical realms can provide a perspective that will open your eyes to this idea and teach you how to cultivate spiritual health. I'll also be sharing what I've learned from doing healing work on others, but also from doing healing work on myself because I'm very much on this journey with you. Let's begin by looking at why things are so intense right now in the world. There is a good explanation for it. We are being subjected to abnormally high levels of energy. A lot of it is coming from outer space through our own sun with things like coronal mass ejections, solar winds, and solar flares. These cosmic phenomenons expel particles that have powerful electromagnetic properties, and when they hit Earth, they are so strong that they alter the Earth's natural magnetic frequency called the Schumann resonance. We also get hit with galactic cosmic rays and other types of geomagnetic storms that create the beautiful northern and southern lights that we can see in the night sky. You don't need to be familiar with these astronomy terms or understand the physics of everything. All you really need to know is that you are electromagnetic in nature and the reality that you live in is frequency based. So when these powerful cosmic forces hit the planet and alter the Earth's natural magnetic field, you living here as an electromagnetic being will be profoundly affected as well. In terms of spirituality, some people refer to these incoming energies as light codes, which certain individuals like myself can physicalize and translate into light language. There are others who like to refer to these energies as our galactic friends from different star systems sending in their assistance. It doesn't really matter what kind of label you want to put on it. Whether you want to come from it from a left brain science perspective or a right brain spiritual perspective, it doesn't really make a difference because in the end, it's all the same thing, which is energy. Now, let's look at how this energy impacts your body and also how it shows up in your life because as human beings, these are going to be the most obvious places you'll physically experience the intensity. In terms of the body, a lot of people will experience these energies as manifestations of physical symptoms, and they are typically not very fun. Some common ones include intense fatigue or exhaustion, aches and pain, headaches, insatiable dehydration where no matter how much water you drink, the thirst just doesn't go away. There's also unusual cravings, emotional sensitivity, and anxiety. Having these symptoms isn't always a result of energies, so you'll have to get to know your own body and be aware of what's happening on the bigger picture as well. The reason why these symptoms happen is because your body is trying to process this incoming energy. When these energies hit the earth, you actually absorb and take them in through your eyes, your nervous system, your brain, and also through the DNA in your cells. Energy carries information. So your body is working very hard to process this new information and use it to carry out 
internal transfiguration. Think of your body like a factory. When there's intense energies coming in, your factory receives a major shipment where dozens of trucks show up to unload mountains of product. You have to take this all in immediately and start processing it. Now, most people are not going to be able to manage the amount efficiently for reasons I'll get to in a bit. What will happen then is the body gets overwhelmed and ends up with a serious backlog. The symptoms that show up are an indication of the lack of efficiency your body has at processing everything and how bad the backlog is. Also, if you happen to be highly sensitive to energy like myself, you are going to feel things much more intensely than others. So when other people's factories are receiving a delivery from 12 trucks, guess what? You're going to be getting 24, 48, 72, 120 or more trucks all at once. Lucky you, right? But really, this is how sensitivity works. Everything is amplified exponentially. The reason why most people don't have the efficiency to handle this incoming energy is because their energetic system is already backed up with unprocessed stuff from their past. This can be anything from a, an argument that happened last week, a relationship from five years ago, or all the different issues from childhood. I find that people just never really deal with this stuff and they carry them all throughout their life. Of course, this is not done consciously, but it is sadly the truth. Because I can read energy, I can pick up on this stuff from people's auras very easily. I'm going to paint you a visual to help you see what I can see when I look at people. So imagine this. People are walking around on the street struggling as they carry extremely large and heavy bags that are overflowing with stuff. It's not just one or two bags. Think a hundred or more of them. It's so bad that some people, in addition to what they're carrying, they are also lugging a train of rolling luggages behind them that are also stuffed to the max. And then there are others who have an even larger load and are carrying additional bags on top of their shoulders and head, which creates this weight that pushes down onto them. Can you guess what's in these bags that people are carrying? It's emotions. Each experience that you have in your life creates emotions. The positive ones are easy to feel, but the negative ones are usually not dealt with, which creates a bag. Life brings so many experiences that create numerous emotions. So if each emotion creates a bag, can you start to see why people are carrying so much baggage? Okay. Let's go back to the image of the person carrying hundreds of heavy bags as they walk down the street. When we get a major cosmic event, imagine the cosmic event as a truck backing in and unloading hundreds of additional heavy bags onto the person who's already carrying all the bags that they have. But it's not just one truck. There's another one and a third and a fourth and they just keep on coming, backing up and unloading hundreds of additional new and heavy bags onto the person. What do you think is going to happen to the person eventually? Energetically, this is exactly what is happening to a lot of people right now. This is why a lot of people are having a really hard time and struggling. This is why life feels so intense. 
these people are truly dealing with a lot in the non-physical. This buildup of energy can be expressed in the body as different physical, mental, and emotional symptoms. I'd like to also mention that nowadays, everyone is extremely physically toxic. That just has to do with the unfortunate truth of the state of our world and the atrocities committed against nature. The environment, the animals, the plants, and of course human beings are all heavily polluted with pesticides, herbicides, chemicals, heavy metals, nanoparticles, plastics, and synthetic hormones. We are also swimming in a toxic soup of non-native electromagnetic fields. These would be things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, radio, cell phone, 5G, 6G, 7G, microwaves, and satellite waves. Remember, we are electromagnetic beings. These unnatural frequencies interfere with our natural vibration and creates disharmony. They also affect our ability to receive the natural beneficial cosmic energies that are coming in. All of these toxicities act like wrenches that get thrown into the gears of the machines in your factory and will therefore negatively impact your ability to process energy efficiently. If you haven't considered it so far, I hope you are starting to realize that being on a spiritual journey requires you to have a strong, healthy, and clean physical vessel. If you happen to be suffering from a lot of physical issues or symptoms during this time, take that as a sign that your body needs some tender loving care. You need to investigate a little deeper and focus on healing your body and improving your lifestyle. Everything from nutrition to detoxification, from emotional release to clearing your mind, as well as supporting your body through this process with herbs and other types of natural medicine. The truth is we are constantly being assaulted physically in the world that we live in today. Your body takes on so much and it's important to give it what it needs so that it can do the work that it has to. Also, your body is alive, it's conscious, and it's always trying to communicate with you through symptoms. Symptoms mean something, and you're the only person who can develop a relationship with your body to understand what it's trying to tell you. So learn to listen to it and treat it with compassion because Without it, you wouldn't be here having this human experience. Now, let's look at how this energy shows up in your life. Plain and simple, it's going to show up as problems. Problems like relationship conflicts, tragedies, financial hardship, health challenges, including mental breakdown and emotional instability. Basically, all the things that make up the human experience will either be turned upside down or be shaken up really hard. This is exactly what is unfolding on the world stage right now, and it's pretty bad. It kind of reminds me of a train wreck within a train wreck within a train wreck. Now, I don't personally watch or read the news anymore because I find it to be a distraction. It's also filled with fear, horror, misinformation, and disinformation. But it is an accurate representation and expression of the overall collective energy. So if you ever want to check in and see how things are going for the majority, you can always look there. The reason things look so bad in the world right now is because these incoming energies act like a flashlight and it shines light onto everything. And what does light do? It illuminates everything hiding in the dark and reveals it very clearly. 
And what's exactly hiding in the dark? Well, that would be things like trauma, emotional wounds, limiting beliefs, mental programming, childhood issues, fears and insecurities, deception, wrongdoing, basically all the skeletons hiding in the closet. Pretty much everything that was way too painful to look at and admit to. Hence, they got shoved under the rug or kept out of sight in the dark. Well, all that stuff now is going to be pushed up by these incoming energies and brought into the conscious awareness. It will be all revealed in your life through problems. So on one hand, it's great to have all this powerful energy come in, all this light flooding in, but what it's going to do is bring up all the stuff you've been collecting and hiding in the dark. This is the bulk of spiritual awakening and ascension. Sounds really fun, right? Everything is energy. Just because these things don't have a physical form that you can touch and see doesn't mean they don't exist and that they're not real. They're very real. They're pure energy. And the only way that they can show themselves is through your life as an experience. This is actually what being alive on earth and having this human experience is all about. Your life is not pointless. There's a very important purpose to it, which most likely no one has told you. Your life is a platform that allows your soul to grow spiritually. Thousands of years ago, only certain individuals would choose to devote their life to spiritual development and finding enlightenment. That would happen through a series of spiritual initiations that they had to go through and successfully complete. You can think of them like going through exams in school to graduate for the development of your intellect. Spiritual initiations, though, are tests for your soul that are meant to help you grow spiritually. In today's world, you don't need to consciously choose this path anymore because everyone, including you and me, are automatically put on this path by default when we are born as human beings on earth. This means that your life and all the problems you experience are actually spiritual initiations meant to help your soul develop. That happens when you face the unpleasant things about yourself that your life problems are trying to reveal to you. It happens when you overcome these things by actually dealing with your problems, not ignoring them or running away from them but genuinely solving them. In a serendipitous way, the energies coming in right now are divinely designed to push you to grow, heal, and awaken by creating problems in your life. I know this idea might seem a little odd, but in a higher perspective, that is how the game of life works. These problems are being created from a place of love that is meant to help you. Things are picking up in speed and intensity now and will continue in that direction because we are trying to tie up loose ends as fast as possible, complete old lessons, and close this chapter in life so that we can start the next exciting one. Just to clarify, The next chapter is not necessarily going to be a kumbaya experience for everyone. There is this misunderstanding that all of earth and all of humanity are ascending together into this utopia where everyone is going to experience peace, freedom, abundance, and joy. I hate to break it to you, but that's not the case. I mean, on the bigger picture, yes, it's happening, 
but we have to remember that life is an individual journey. Your life is designed specifically for you to fulfill your own unique purpose. Your spiritual development and soul evolution process is not going to be the same as everyone else's. So it does you no good to compare your life and where you are to others. Some people may experience utopia in the near future, but there are also going to be many others who will end up experiencing the total opposite of that. The experience that you have depends on the choices that you make and whether or not they are in alignment to the truth of who you are and what you came here to do. It also depends on whether you're willing to take responsibility in your life by doing the inner work needed to heal the things that are coming up for you. If you're currently drowning in problems, suffering in emotional pain, feeling untethered in this energetic intensity, wondering when are things going to improve, wondering when utopia is going to arrive, well, the answer is it depends on you. What's unfolding for you is exactly what is supposed to happen. If life is really challenging right now, perhaps that's a message that you've been procrastinating on your homework, which is your healing work, and what's showing up is what you need to address and heal. Your life and the problems you experience contain deep wisdom that are embedded within a lesson. To extract it, you have to lift your viewpoint up and see things from a higher perspective. In that place, you will start to understand that what's happening around you and to you is in fact actually happening for you. It's an opportunity for you to let go of all that baggage you're carrying so that you can become the best version of yourself. It's through unraveling the human experience layer by layer until you get to the core and see yourself for who you truly are, where you'll be able to diffuse the intensity that you're experiencing right now. Of course, you don't have to do this, but know that if you choose not to, your body is going to scream louder and louder. Your responsibilities are going to pile up higher and higher your life problems are going to get more and more intense. Do you really want that? I think not. Either way, whichever path you choose, one thing is for sure, and that is we are collectively going through a massive transition at this time, and we're all in it together. This process is being facilitated by incoming cosmic energies where the intensity of them is going to continue to increase. This means that in addition to your personal hardships, reality as we know it is going to get wilder and wilder. Things are going to get even more and more chaotic as the old world collapses piece by piece. This is because we are in a time of great change, moving forward towards something new. But that something new has not yet been fully defined yet. We are actually actively creating it together with the choices that we make every day and the actions that we take. This is why there's no set time frame and no set outcome. It can be incredibly amazing or horribly bad. There will always be opportunists with nefarious agendas who want to steer what is supposed to be a natural and beautiful process into something else. The best thing that you can do for yourself is to remove the distractions in your life and focus on your own path. Do the healing work you need to do so that you can awaken to who you truly are. Because if you don't anchor yourself strongly and confidently in who you are, I have a genuine question. What exactly are you going to stand on as the old world collapses, but the new one hasn't been built yet? 
All the answers you need to solve the problems in your life can be found within you, not outside of you. In my opinion, it's not going to come from technology, a machine, a robot, another person, or some kind of external savior, including aliens. And this is coming from someone who has had contact. I believe the true answer to everything is buried deep within each and every one of us. It will be brought out through a magical internal process that involves turning on your consciousness, opening your heart, connecting to spirit, and embodying your soul in human form. This is a secret. And every week through this podcast, I will build on these ideas. So I really hope you'll come on this journey with me. In the next episode, I'll be exploring human emotions a little bit more deeply. Everything from what they are and how you can process them effectively to some of the amazing spiritual things that you can do with them and why others feed on them without your knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.